Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to capture a WPA handshake. Now what a WPA handshake is, is a form of authentication that occurs um, between a device and an access point when that device is connecting to that access point's network. So basically, the device is saying, um, this is the password, is it right, can I connect to your network? Um, and the access point is then receiving that information saying, yes, that password is correct, and sending that information back to the device. So we're going to be capturing that um, those signals or that information in between um, that access point and that device that they're sending to each other, which we can therefore use to capture um, that password with a few other things. But just today, I'm going to be showing you um, how to capture that WPA handshake. Now, um, before we start, I don't condone the use of this for anything illegal, breaking into networks, whatever it may be. Um, this is purely for educational purposes or for testing your own network. Um, to see how strong it is against this type of thing. Um, so yeah, again, I don't encourage or condone any use of this for an illegal manner. Um, I don't recommend that at all. But anyway, let's get right started. So I fired up the Kali Linux uh, virtual virtual machine, um, and now we're going to open up a terminal window. Now, as I've explained in a previous video, where I've used the Kali Linux virtual machine for some stuff, I think it was the deauthentication video. <coughs> um, for this to work for a lot of these things in Kali Linux to work you need a wireless adapter that's capable of packet injection um, and basically being put into monitor mode where it can see the packets being sent back and forth between devices and access points etc um, and to be able to capture um, and read and inject um, these network packets. So I'm going to drop a link down in the description below um, to list of some of the wireless adapters that um, are capable of this because you're going to need one for this tutorial. But anyway, let's get right started. So the first thing we're going to do is enable monitor mode by typing in amon-ng start and then wlan0 which is our wireless card. So now it's going to start monitor mode. Now that that's done, now we're going to want to scan for um, wireless networks. So we're going to type in arrow dump dash ng lan 0 mon um, and we can hit enter. Now this is going to scan for any nearby networks. So once you've found the one that you want, we're going to hit control C. Um, that's going to stop it scanning and now we're going to scan that actual individual network. So now we can do error dump dash ng lan 0 mon um, and then dash dash bssid and we're going to paste in the bssid for the network. Now this is our network, my network at home that I'm going to be doing it on. So I'm going to put that there, then double dash channel and that is channel 2 I believe, yes. Um, right, and now this is going to be the name of the .cap or capture file um, from when we capture the WPA handshake. So I'm just going to call this test1 um, and we can go ahead and hit enter. Now as I mentioned before, um, to capture WPA handshake or for WPA handshake to occur, a device has to connect to a network. So in a sense it has to be disconnected first and then reconnected. So either you can wait for a new device or an existing device to reconnect to the network or you can force them to um, by deauthenticating the devices. Now um, we're going to be doing the latter of that, deauthenticating the devices because that's much quicker. Again I've done a proper video on this explaining everything um, but I'm just going to do this real quickly. Um, so yeah, I'll leave a link in the description down below as to how the deauthentication um, works in Kali Linux um, and explain all the different terms and everything. Um, but yeah, so I'd suggest maybe going and watching that if this is the path that you're going to take in terms of disconnecting um, devices from the network to capture the WPA handshake. Um, so we're just going to enter AirPlay, deauth, 2000 packets, um, that BSSID, and then again um, that there, our network adapter. So we're going to hit enter. Now this is sending the deauthentication packets out to the network. And as we can see, we've got that WPA handshake as some of the devices have tried to connect. Um, so as you can see now, we can press Control C, and that's captured our WPA handshake there. Now, in Kali Linux, it stores it under um, just the root desktop um, directory, I guess. So if you just hit files or local files, wherever it may be, and then look for a test one. So there are going to be four files here. Um, these are for other programs. We don't need these. We don't need that. The file that we need is at test1-01.cap. So that is our capture file, that is the WPA handshake um, that we have now captured. Um, and yeah, as we can see in the terminal, it's given us the WPA handshake um, for that for that network that we attacked. As we can see, the not attacked, but that we um, listened in on. 
um, as we can see the MAC addresses or the BSS IDs are copying I mean are the same they're identical so that's the right network and we've got this .cap file stored here so anyway guys thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video